Databricks Marketplace. Open marketplace for all data, analytics, and your AI. Hey, hi. Hello, everyone. Naval Yamil. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Master. In this video, we are going to see what is Databricks Marketplace. And then we are going to look at the demo on how we can explore the Databricks Marketplace with different data assets. It can be your table, it can be your files in your volumes or it can be your AI models or your ML models. So Databricks Marketplace is an open marketplace for all your data analytics and your AI powered by the open source technology called Delta Sharing. With the help of the Delta Sharing, you can access all the data, your analytics or your AI models using this Delta Sharing. So Databricks Marketplace expands the opportunity to deliver innovation and advance all your analytics and your ai initiatives so i'll just leave the node a document link for you you can just go through it so what is databricks marketplace you can check it's an open forum for exchanging the data products why are using this advanced delta sharing feature it was developed by the databricks and now it's an open source you can use it within the databricks or you can use it outside the databricks as well so I'll just leave you the link of these two. You can check it. Now let me jump on to the demo. Yeah, this is my Databricks workspace. And here on the left pane, you can see you have a marketplace. So this is your Databricks marketplace UI. It looks something like this. It is powered by the Delta sharing. Now you have some filters here. You can quickly check those filters like products. You can get a tabular data or if you want any files, You'll get a volume that contains some audio file, video, PDFs and document. Mostly if you're looking for a, a ML model or if you're creating a generative AI application where you want a raw data, yeah, you can get it from this. And you have uh, AI models for the popular use cases and they have some built-in templates for the industry use case and they call it as a solution accelerators. Very, very useful. I'll be exploring about all this. Then you have a providers, you can check the companies, those who have provided their data, their use cases to the market, database marketplace, and we can absolutely use it for free. There are free models, there are free uh, paid one also, we are going to explore both. And you can look at the category, so those who are looking for the uh, Databricks or if you want to make a career in Databricks with different domains, different categories, yeah, this marketplace is for you again you can check a very specific category here and you can go deep dive into those you can look the notebook you can look at the data set how your data set looks like and you can start exploring it more then we have a model task like you want a very specific model like a text summarization or maybe it can be a text classification or text to speech text to image yeah we have that models also here and we have a filter called free and a private exchange so you can see we have a feature providers some staff picks and some models from the other companies you can see the email uh, this sign shows that it's an ai model and there are some popular uh, tables you can say these are the tables you can just click on it okay to know more about it okay so you can see these are absolutely free you can check or you can just put a filter called free and this all are accessible and it's absolutely free so yes you can use a uh, AI models like LLM models, for example, you can use Llama Guard model. Llama Guard is for uh, Llama Guard is for uh, if you want to apply some safety filters, if you want to apply some guide rails, uh, like how your LLM is responding input and output. Yeah, you can use that. In our generative AI playlist, we are going to talk about implementing the Llama Guard models for our generative AI applications, and we have a uh, llama 3.2 models it's a chat model you can use this also apart from that you have so many for example you have a data set that is very popular amazon's bestseller product data set you have reviews product data sets and so on and we have a whisper model also that can be used for converting your text to speech and so on so marketplace databricks marketplace is the best place where you can get all these data assets and you can Start exploring them and you can start using it let me show you one of this uh, let us take this uh, amazon's best seller product review and the product data set it is coming from the company called bright data you can explore this in detail 
so note you can see here what they have given the note the current data set includes thousand rows for more records please contact the provider they are telling uh, the description about the data set what utility the sample use cases and they have the amazon product data set you can check what does bright data in provider does you can check in detail and these are the major data points on that data set you can view the sample notebook also yeah in this they have just queried it nothing much and let me do one thing let me just hit on get instant access and you can check what all things you get it so you can just click on it oh you get three data sets uh, it can be three tables one is a uh, best seller product best product and uh, amazon's review you can just click on this you can see there are more options do you want to use it within the databricks or outside the databricks you can do that and which catalog name do you want so once you get an access to this there will be a new catalog created why with this name with this name you can change that if you want i'll keep it as it is i'll just click on get an instant access and the moment i get an instant access i can see there will be one new catalog created in my catalog explorer let me go and check yeah you can see here cool so you got a new catalog explorer in this we have one catalog called bright data amazon bestseller product and in this we have a data set uh, that comprises three tables a uh, structured one you can click on any of the table and you can start looking at the schema table schema you can check the sample data you need a compute to run start this let me start a serverless and let me show you the sample data similarly you can check the other tables also there are top thousand records in it you can start exploring it so similarly you can get a model you can get an ai model ml model you can get some data sets for your practice depending on the category and so on it's really an amazing thing let me okay let me explore the marketplace just open it in a new tab uh, compute is on it might take couple of seconds now cool it's done can you see that you have a timestamp you have a title you have a description you can see all amazon's best seller products at this table you can check the other tables also similarly you can go and get a uh, different um, models or you can get a uh, you can get a uh, different solution accelerators or a uh, files and so on so this is all about the databricks marketplace i hope you enjoyed it in our coming videos we are going to deploy uh, we are going to register one ml model or a llm model to our unity catalog and then we are going to start serving it or start creating a serving endpoint on top of it so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you understood about the databricks marketplace thank you for watching keep upskilling keep learning bye bye